I cannot believe that it has been three years since I last reviewed a Lightbringer novel. So I've been talking about these books since I started reading them in 2016, but I haven't actually reviewed one since book one. And that just seems absolutely ridiculous to me. And then I thought about it and I was like, why haven't I reviewed this each book that's come out? And I realized I would have just been saying the same compliments over and over and over again. Ba -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. So I don't have an intro at the moment. I've lost that uh, file. I think I can find it. I'm gonna try and find it. When I was reviewing the first book, I was ridiculously excited about the magic system. Like I just was completely lost in this world of color and the the full spectrum of what the magic meant, and I loved it. I was so excited. This new, fresh, amazing ideas of the world and the universe and the intense lore that was created inside this universe just blew me away in the first book and in the second book and in the third book and now it's the fourth book and I'm used to the magic system. I am still in love with the way that the magic system works but I'm not as super excited by the concept anymore because it's been three years, four books, and 27 days. No, there's, um, there is only like a week, if that, to go until the next book is out, and it's the last one. It's the last one, and I have had this universe in the backbone of my escapism for three and a half years now, however long it's been, and I just... I'm dreading not having it there. Um, I think I deliberately have been reading this book really slowly so that I don't have a time without it. And at the moment I only have about a week without it. And I'm already like, oh, but I just, I want to know what happens next. Even though I got a bit bored because it's the same plot happening still. Like it, it's not repetitive, but it is, in the fact that it's, they're still at war and they're still fighting the issues. Um, but there's amazing character development, the writing is fantastic, it still follows Kip and all of those main characters I never talked about, but it does it in a way that is more, more developed, I guess. So it, it, it's the same story with the same characters, but it's just so much more. And I really enjoy being in the universe, even though it is horrendously violent with acts of extreme cruelty. It is in war and you do sort of, I forget about it. I gloss over the, the super violent things and then I'm like, oh yeah, this is that kind of book. I remember what this character has become, but I still love her <laughs> desperately. Um, that's Tia. So Tia and Karis have been my favourites the whole way through. If you've read the books, I don't know, Karis has less allure to me now that she's uh, sort of risen in the ranks of her, her, her character development and position uh, in, in the Chromera, in the, in the, uh... It's a very hard book to talk about if I'm talking about it to somebody who's never read it. <laughs> um, a lot of, the book has like, the last 200 pages is literally there's pages and pages and pages of glossary of terms, glossary of characters, um, and explanations of lore, I guess. And there's a map and it's just, it's brilliant. And each book has been like that and they're just getting more and more into the storyline and the last one is coming out and I'm, ah, <laughs> I have many feelings about that. It's such an elegant and complete and rich universe full of marvellous characters and ideas and just a wonderful explanation of magic that I just I fully believe it. Like, I, I find myself trying to will cast and trying to draw from colours around me. So I got a little bit irritated at the storytelling this time. Lots of dialogue and then lots of action and then lots of dialogue and then lots and lots of action. And I much prefer the dialogue and the thought processes of the character. That is from the point of view. In that it follows different characters doing different things but in the same context. So 
it would be from Kip's point of view and then Tia's point of view and then Karis's point of view. So I would get really interested and really into the storyline of Tia and where she was at and then her chapter would finish and I'd be back at, at Kip for chapters and chapters and it would take forever to get back to the bit that I was really interesting in, interested in and that did annoy me. I did find myself putting the book down quite a lot and it was a very slow read because I would forget what certain characters were doing because I was only really interested in one storyline. Even though they all tied together perfectly and had to be there and I understood that, I still found it frustrating in its epicness. However, I did absolutely love the relationships and the drama in this book in particular because it does have relationships in there, but they're kind of realistic. They're not exactly what you'd expect. I mean, they're not ideal. They're, they're sad and they're gritty and it's not necessarily a sad ending for the relationship and it's not necessarily a happy ending for the relationship or even an ending. It's just how it, how it is. And in wartime, in what we've got, that's, yeah, that's, it was realistic not not over the top romanticized <laughs> romance if that am i making any sense i kind of have had enough and want the storyline to be over but at the same time i never ever want it to end so the next book has a lot that it has to do <laughs> um, and i'm looking forward to it being the end and being over. As much as I love being in the universe, I am excited for a conclusion. I do also really just like mushy peaceful times, just fluffy writing as well. And there's not, not much fluff in this, it's very intense. I could talk about this book so much more than what I have been. I was explaining to my mum what happened and what I thought was going to happen and the differences between those. And like, I had to explain so much to get her to understand that I was just like, I can't actually put this into a video, it's too much. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> so, I think that's all I have to say. I really enjoy this book and I'm really glad I finished it and I'm sorry I didn't review the other two but it would just be, I love the writing, I love the characters, I love the everything about it, it's great, <laughs> over and over again. Um, but I thought I would do this one because it's the penultimate and then when I finally finished the other one I would uh, catch you up with what I thought about it and its conclusion and yeah, read it, read this series, it's a really good series. Book recommendation, Lightbringer series, plenty of pages. Get into that. Arrgh. All right, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. How do you turn this thing off?